This is a video review of Freeman's Commons Houses bedrooms, or as they call them, study rooms. The only other video on the internet that I could find was um, quite negative in its portrayal, and I understand that if you are expecting it to be nice, but um, if you have a realistic view of what cheap university accommodation looks like, then you won't be um, shocked. So this is the cheapest University of Leicester room available. They have other rooms which go from having your own sink to having your own bathroom to a studio flat to a family flat and I haven't seen them. But this is the cheapest room. It's in the cheapest halls and it was in a, in a block that was built in the 1970s and a lot of the amen lot of the amenities are still from the 1970s so for example the ovens and things like that um it's cheap and cheerful or cheap and nasty depending on how you see it unfortunately you can't see my view very well but i'm in the sort of more secluded section which has quite a nice view of some trees um it's a quiet halls, it's postgraduate people mostly, mostly international people. They tend to be more quiet postgraduate people than undergrads or at least than first years. They're not partying all the time. So if you want a nice quiet halls then this is a good way to go. There are of course private halls that you can go to but um, I just wanted the cheapest option available. So I'll go around my room this way. I'm not going to show you the bathroom or the kitchen because my housemates might be in there and I'm sure they don't want to be in the video. Um, so obviously we've got the door that's lockable from the inside and the outside. Uh, we've got a bedside cabinet which is simple, no drawers. There might be others with drawers. They tend to replace things as and when they break. So unless something is really broken, you won't get anything new. Um, but you can buy things if you want, and I'll show you a couple of things I've bought. Um, obviously the top is bedside cabinet, and the bottom I've turned into where I keep my toiletries. I've put the poster up on the wall. There's a bed. It's a single bed. It has underbed storage. So I've got some storage there for kitchen things. Um, the mattress I think is fairly new um, I mean it's it's not too bad but I have got a memory foam mattress topper on top which I bought before I got here so I'm not sure how good the mattress is itself but that was a choice that I wanted a memory foam mattress topper before I even knew what the mattress was like um, I've got another poster then there's a gap between the end of the bed and the wardrobe and I use this for storage. This room hasn't got brilliant storage, it's not built in or anything except for the wardrobe. So I use under my bed, the end between the bed and the wardrobe, and the wardrobe itself. This wardrobe is an old one. Um, my roommate next door has got a new one. I don't mind it, it's got difficult handles to open but otherwise it works. Obviously you've got the hanging section, you've got some shelves, you've got some space underneath the hanging section where you can put shoes or I've put my washing bin. You've got a shelf up here and then I've got space on top of the wardrobe for storage. For example I've got my suitcase up there which you can use to store things. I've also got some um, pasta and rice boxes and a couple of cardboard boxes which might come in useful but my housemate has got a section up here with the actual cupboard built in which um, might limit your storage space because then you can't go right up to the ceiling. The window is quite interesting. I'm on the ground floor so they've got this security grate. This is unlockable and movable so you can unlock it with your key, you can slide it and then the window is completely like a normal window. Um, but personally I would forget to lock it so I keep this locked all the time although if I was in one day and I wanted to open the window quite a lot I would be able to do that um, it's double glazed but in a way so that it's got the existing window which is back there and then this addition you can slide it so that it's open or keep one bit open and one bit shut 
Um, it's quite old, quite rickety. You can lock them in place, which obviously for security reasons you can unlock. The other halls, for example the block over there, which you can't see, has railings built in that aren't removable and that to me is a fire safety hazard if there was a fire by your room door and you needed to get out you won't be able to climb it out through the window so obviously you can't do much about that so that's something to consider I've got this wardrobe here, uh, this uh, radiator here there's another radiator there which is the old radiator from the 70s which doesn't work and then I've got this one here I basically just use this to keep things on top of. I've got the desk which is an old desk. The top drawer is very difficult to open and shut and means that the second drawer down doesn't shut very easily at all. So I don't use the top drawer, I use the other two. So I bought this set of drawers to use as well. Um, it's not in very good condition but that is sort of the general depiction of the room. It's got problems in decor. It hasn't been repainted in a while. My previous occupant of the room um, has or maybe a few years ago even stuck things up with um, packing tape which has left residue and has left packing tape still on door frame on the inside and the outside I've not seen that on anybody else's room so it's just something that one of the previous occupants has done in this room um, there's some stains on the walls which hasn't been haven't been cleaned off by the cleaners so you will want to probably clean it yourself when you come in. I've got shelves above my desk although that top shelf um, was broken so we've taken it off. Um, it has Wi-Fi in here, it has obviously electricity, it has lights etc as you'd expect. The Wi-Fi is okay you can buy an upgrade but it's quite expensive. You can buy access to like um, on-demand TV and you can buy backing up of your work but the university provides that themselves so I haven't bought that. Um, I've used this wall as like a notice board wall. I don't have a pin board in here, it didn't come with a room so I've just stuck some, wall, uh, some wrapping paper up and I'm using some pieces of paper to do spider diagrams on. I've got the this and this along the walls, uh, I think that covers wires and I have these pipes running along three, uh, sorry, yeah, three of the walls and they chuck out a lot of heat. I've not had my radiator on since I got here and it's October now and it's still really warm in my room. I have to have my window open constantly so that I can keep the temperature down or else it's too hot to sleep. So I put these insulators in Firstly to stop myself from touching the pipes and burning myself and secondly just to try to stop some heat escaping and keeping my room very hot. Um, I bought this chair because it didn't come with a chair. Um, some rooms do come with easy chairs but if it doesn't they don't give you one so that you might want to buy an additional chair if you want to. And I bought these drawers which I'm going to be taking with me when I leave and I bought this chair as well because the chair that came with the room, the office chair, was nasty, stained, it had chewing gum marks on it so I put that upstairs in the washroom and um, I've got this chair. The halls have um, one kitchen for each house. There's 10 people who live in each block. So obviously you've got to divide up the fridge space, the freezer space. We have one freezer with five sections, which means half a shelf each, which is very, very small space to store anything. We have two fridges with five shelves each. So we get one shelf each, which is adequate in my eyes. Um, we have two bathrooms. Downstairs we have uh, one toilet that is separate and then a shower and a sink. On the top floor we have an all-in-one bathroom with a bath and on the middle floor we don't have a bathroom but there is a washroom where they used to do laundry still has a butler sink where you can in theory wash your clothes if you want to has a um, sort of drying rack, has an ironing board and an iron and it has three sinks no toilet up there, no shower up there, so the people who live on the middle floor have to either come downstairs or upstairs to use the facilities. Um, there is a mop and a bucket located in the bathroom and a hoover, so you can use them if you want to clean your halls. Somebody comes around to clean the halls once a week, they don't do a very good job, 
They won't clean up your room. You have to tidy and clean your room yourself. They will do inspections a couple of times a year and if you do not clean it properly they will tell you that you haven't done it properly. Um, I don't know what the repercussions of that are. Um, they do just clean the communal areas quickly. If anything is wrong in your halls, such as if the oven doesn't work, report it and they will fix it as soon as they feel is possible. Um, there is a central um, accommodation um, facility that will fix things. And um, if they don't supply something, let them know. For example, we don't have a toaster in our kitchen. We're going to let them know and hopefully they'll buy us one. And if not, we're just going to all chip in because my housemates are really nice and so hopefully we'll just be able to share it really easily, buy it together and share it. So yeah, that is the um, video. Um, that's the light on the ceiling, just to let you know. I've bought a couple of lamps to make it a bit nicer in the evenings. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye!